All right, guys, Josh McFadden here, South Wilson River Fly Shop. Today we're looking at Blake Boyd's Puff Daddy. Blake Boyd's Puff Daddy. I've already treated this one. This is how it's going to look when you're ready to fish it. Uh, we're going to pre-treat it after we tie the fly with dry magic and uh, then a liberal coating of frog's fanny after we trim the CDC feather off to the end of the, end of the hook. Here we go with Blake Boyd's Puff Daddy. Got a Umqua U001 dry fly hook number 16 mounted in the vise. We're going to be using some Vivas thread that's a light yellow and an ADOT. I'm going to start by starting my thread on the hook. Now we're going to take some Raymond Rumpf sulfur colored dubbing for the abdomen. Now you could use a biot for the abdomen if you wanted to, but I've found over the last year that for me personally, the dubbing body has worked really, really well. I'm going to dub a thin noodle on this body. Here we go, here. Okay, I'll be back later. <laughs> Alright, so we're dubbing this body, uh, dubbing the abdomen and the thorax for our Puff Daddy, Blake Boyd's Puff Daddy. Put some sulfur orange dubbing down. I'm going to take a brown Trout Hunter CDC feather. I'm going to V out the tip here a little bit, except I'm not going to cut it out. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. Curvature is facing down and tie that in just like that. And I'm gonna take one thread wrap just behind the feather to help prop it up a little bit. Learn that trick from Matthew Gwynn at the fly shop. I'm gonna trim out that feather, that waist piece at the tip. I'm gonna lock into it with my, my little electrical feather clip here. Okay, and I'm gonna wrap my thread just to the front, just behind the eye. I'm gonna fold the fibers back and I'm gonna spin my vise. I want to try to get uh, as many wraps of this feather as I can squeeze around here. We used to tie them pretty sparsely and uh, we've since figured out that it works just as well heavily hackled so that's exactly what we've been doing with it because uh, some of the fibers do get chewed off while you're fishing it so um, you can go ahead and dress it fairly heavily. Gonna tie that feather off right there after four or five wraps. Try to clean up the head the best I can, leaving plenty of space at the eye. And try to tidy up a neat head right here. Throw my whip finish on. Little three turn whip finish right there. Build the head off. I'm gonna go ahead and clip my thread off. Now the last step of this, now this is the way you'll find them in the bin like this, but the last step of this, which they omit, is trimming the pheasant tail, or the, the CDC feathers with the bend of the hook. That's going to help it to really skate well. Now you're going to apply uh, just a small drop of dry magic before fishing this fly and rub it into the feather and then chase that with frog's fanny and then about every 10 or 15 casts or so, or after every eat that you get on the river, you're going to reapply Frog's Fanny until it's a little puffball again. Because this is the way we want it to look with no matted fibers, anything like that. We want it to be a total little fluff ball out there on the water. And uh, we, you can fish this fly in a tandem dry fly rig behind another dry, or you can fish this fly by itself, which is the way that I prefer to do it. And um, it's, it's going to catch fish, period. And so uh, there's Blake Boyd's Puff Daddy. Happy time.